I'm feeling something. Feel oh, the, nice. Feeling the burn. Today we're going to be filming a strong man. No, not JP. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hey everybody, our announcement is coming up really quick now. I just wanted to make sure you got all your notifications turned on. You're going to hear about it because it's going to happen really soon. I want you to be a part of what's going to be going on here. So make sure you're ready to be notified. So the whole idea here is what are the tips, tricks, and things you need to know to be able to get great animation with your phone. And there's some good things that Trisha has to share with us. Great ideas. So let's get started and just see exactly how to do it. Yeah. So one of the tips I want to share with you, a lot of these tips actually really apply whether you're using a big camera or if you're using your phone. So these are just really great stop motion basics to know, but super helpful if you're just starting out, if you want to learn stop motion, I suggest starting with your phone before you invest in equipment, before you invest in cameras, lighting, stands, all these things, try it out on your phone, catch the bug, and then kind of dive into that. That's a great place to start because you've got a phone in your hand. There's a simple app you can use to be able to give you great stop motion. With a simple device, like I think this is like fifteen dollars. Yeah, on Amazon, just yeah. really easy order. Yeah, clamps on the table and gets your phone over top of whatever it is you're animating, which is one of the first things you've got to be able to do. Yeah, you want to keep your phone as steady as possible. So take your pictures. You can actually just use a pair of old school headphones. headphones. They actually have cables. <laughs> they have cables, and you can plug that into your phone if you have um, a headphone jack, and you can click the volume button. And that volume button acts as a remote shutter. I'm pretty sure that a pair of earbuds yeah. do the same thing. I think so too. You the can Bluetooth actually button. Yeah, you can, you can go like this. Taking a picture, taking a picture, <laughs> taking a picture. <laughs> so we've got a phone over the top of our stop motion. We got a way to be able to take our images. What software are we using? We, okay, so there's a lot of apps that you can use. One of my personal favorites to use is Stop Motion Studio. You can use the free version. It's actually quite robust. There is a pro version that gives you capabilities like green screening and some more advanced editing, but you can use the free version and get some really great videos. Another great app to use is Life Lapse. That one, I think that there is a monthly fee really to use, monthly, yeah. but it's a really intuitive app as well as it's just really pretty. Like the app is really beautiful to use. So two really great apps, Stop Motion Studio and Life Lapse. Also, just check in the iTunes store. I'm sure there's a lot of other ones that work great. Right. Okay, so we've got our app, we've got our phone locked off, we've got our cable so we can take our pictures. What's next? So now what we want to do is we want to make sure that this background isn't going to move. So we're actually going to also tape down the background. Tape. <laughs> tape. Thank you. So we're just sticking down all the corners so that the paper background doesn't move. Then if there's anything on your background that you don't want to move, you also want to tape that down. So we have this weightlifting pedestal. We're also just going to add a piece of double stick tape. Um, oh, just right behind it. Just system. right underneath it so that it doesn't go anywhere. So now that is secure. And then we have our paper weightlifting dude. He is going to be a little bit finicky because paper puppets sometimes are. Okay, so we're just going to stick his torso to the paper. And then we're going to situate his legs the, the where we want them. As we want to make this a looping gif, what we really need to do is just do one motion. So we can go down to up or up to down. And I think the best thing would go would be to go from down to up. And then we'll just replay that backwards and then forwards and backwards. Yeah, that. Okay. Um, so we're going to put his head where we want it. And another really helpful thing in this scenario could be tweezers. So tweezers is one of these things I always have on hand in my top storage. Um, this is a, a scissor version. That's Those are awesome. Just like though. a paper version. Yeah. But I have so many different kinds and it's fun to kind of just um, switch out what you need. Um, but you can use these tweezers to kind of just really fine tune. Our app is not open yet, but everything okay. is kind of set up. And before I started setting up, I made sure that it was where I wanted it in the phone. And then I just kind of set up in addition to that. So we are ready to start shooting. There's a couple things we need to do on our phone to get it all ready. And um, on this app, this red button takes the pictures or like we mentioned earlier, um, our volume button takes the pictures. So we're ready to go. What if your phone dies? Okay, you wanna make sure that if you're gonna do an animation that's gonna take a while, either that your phone is fully charged or that you are plugged into a power source. This phone is fully charged and we're gonna do a really quick animation. So I'm really not worried about that right now. But if you're gonna take the time to make an animation, make sure you're plugged in 
and that your power source, your, your phone isn't gonna die on you after you put so much time into getting everything ready. I like to wear black so that I'm not being a reflection. If you're wearing white, then when lights are coming in, you're reflecting light back you're off. You're changing the, you're, when you get this close to something, that white is reflecting light exactly. back in. Exactly. That being said, lighting, we haven't talked anything about lighting yet. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you can get lighting as continuous as possible. So if you're, if you're by a window, windows are going to change so drastically unless yeah. you're doing something fast. So if you could go to Home Depot and just get like a task lamp or anything like that, that could just be a continuous light source, you know, put an LED light and a task lamp and make that your light source. You could even throw like a white sheet or towel, like a tea towel or something over it to give you a little bit of diffusion. Doesn't have to be a big deal. At Lowell's, and I'll, I'll reference the lesson right here that we did on this subject, there's a large white saucer that you put overhead in the kitchen and it's got LEDs in it. And that is a beautiful, inexpensive like $40 light Ooh. that gives a really pretty light and it's got a built-in softbox gives you a nice glow so that's oh, a I really inexpensive light <laughs> it's a, yeah you we'll put that lesson below here because that's a really great light to use for something like this yeah that's great do that and then make awesome videos you're ready to go all right we're ready to go so we're just gonna turn on our app i'm just gonna kind of move this camera to where we want to be shooting and then we're gonna start taking pictures so really the basic kind of like explanation of stop motion is you move an object, you take a picture, you move the object, you take a picture. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here. We want this strong man to lift his arms and lift that barbell. And so we're just going to move it tiny pieces at a time and take pictures. So let's start by taking our first picture. There we go. So we're going to move the barbell and then we're going to take a picture. We're actually gonna hold him there for two frames, actually, so that he gets to the top and then he comes back. No, okay, so he's at the top right now, right? Mm -hmm. Can we just keep him there and his legs start to wiggle? Uh, yeah. <laughs> never <could>. mind, never <laughs> mind. <laughs> we're gonna just give, we're gonna give the, the weights a tiny wobble. JP, making life hard. <laughs> So that is how you film a stop motion video on your device. So if you were to wrap this up, it's really about making your phone be stable, getting over top of your stop motion. You got your little headphones. headphones. You're gonna trigger Turn it Turn it on airplane mode so that your phone doesn't vibrate in the middle of your shoot. Get a program. It doesn't have to be the program that we used or the app yeah. we used here today. It could be a lot of different ones, but this one that we used today is very good and pretty. I mean, the full version is $4.99. So yeah, $4.99. Like and what's great is if you wanted to, they have a desktop version as well. So you could do a phone version or the desktop version, and you can actually live view on your iPad while your phone is shooting. So you have this ability to really do some cool animations and not have to spend a lot of money on software. Other fun things to do with something like this is you can just take your phone and point it at a chalkboard or the wall and you can animate things with tape across the wall. Yeah. You can animate things going into cases. Or fun idea, put it on a tripod, have like Bluetooth headphones or a Bluetooth clicker and be in front of the Eiffel Tower or be in front of the Pyramids of Egypt oh. or anywhere you want. You can walk around and just take pictures and stand and it will look like you're floating around all these places. So there's so many fun things you can do learning how to use your phone to do stop motion. So if you caught the stop motion bug, and you will, go over to thisalignedlens.com to online courses, and we have a download for you. Trisha's gonna share all of her secrets, the things that she's learned in learning how to do stop motion from advanced to really beginning, great information there. So get over there to thisalignedlens.com, online courses, and get your course today. Keep those cameras rolling. Keep on clicking. It's time for the SKB Glass Impact Test Fire!
<laughs> Smells like hot sauce. <laughs> Everything looks fine. Camera's running. Everything's good. Survived the glass impact test. <laughs>